Well, I am pleased to welcome you all to this uh, AIEC April workshop, a series of four webinars organized in collaboration with the uh, Annex 86 of the EDC program. The Annex is Energy Efficient AA Human Management. This is a series of four uh, webinars in April. Uh, the previous ones are available on the website with the recordings and the slides. And today is the second part of the uh, Big Data, IAQ and Ventilation uh, webinar, uh, which I'm pleased to introduce you to. Uh, my name is uh, Benjamin Noon. I'm co-lead of the uh, SD5 of this Annex 86, which I will present you now. So this annex is uh, the uh, one of the annex of the International Energy Agency of the Energy and Buildings and Communities Program. Uh, the uh, annex has been approved by the Executive Committee last summer, and we are currently in the preparatory year uh, of the annex, and we should be normally starting the operational phase this summer. So. A brief description. The goal of the annex is to provide a framework to improve energy efficiencies of the uh, indoor air quality management, focusing on residential buildings, and that encompasses both new constructions and existing uh, uh, buildings uh, under refurbishment. So for the moment, we have already 42 institutes for 24 countries. Uh, which we have the list on the right, and we are still open to new partners. And I would like to stress that uh, we have many uh, um, academic institutes, but we have also companies and active participation by companies uh, are still, um, we want to expand the uh, participation of private companies. So definitely we would encourage uh, new companies to join us uh, in this annex. The work plan that we have devised is uh, divided in, into uh, six subtasks. The first two ones focus on the methodology and the uh, state of the knowledge about uh, AQ management. So we have uh, uh, the matrix and the rating methods to be used on subtask one. We have the characterization of sources and exposure in residential buildings in subtask two. Subtask three and four are more oriented toward the applications to technology on materials, smart materials, and subtask four on smart ventilation systems. Subtask five is exploring the new opportunities from the Internet of Things and the big data, and is, of course, uh, closely working with the uh, other subtask one, two, four. And subtask six is not oriented to content, but is more the management and dissemination and interaction of the whole project. So let me stress a bit about uh, subtask five. Subtask five is directly related to the webinar today. And we want to explore uh, definitely the um, uh, improvements and validations of uh, what the um, uh, cloud data and Internet of Things can bring in terms of the EQ improvements together with energy savings. So that goes on one side to the smart systems, smart ventilation, and uh, uh, smart uh, optimization of uh, IAQ management. Uh, this includes commissioning, optimization, use of remote data, which are all discussed or will be explored in ST5. And this is also within the objective of this subtask to explore the knowledge and data sets that exist or that will exist. So in relation with the metrics to be used, which are explored in ST1, and with the exposure that is measured or should be measured as defined in ST2. So in this subtask, we will also explore all the 
applications, uh, be they applications in real time or application uh, in delayed time, application online if needed or offline, post analysis, and we will also explore uh, the business cases that can be uh, of interest uh, for this uh, ventilation management. The challenges that we will face and we will try to answer is, okay, we are working with real life uncontrolled environments. So uh, defining what is the cause or what would be the effect of the ventilation is not an easy task. Another challenge that we will be facing is the quality of the data. Uh, all this uh, approach relies on sensors deployed in many environments. So the quality of the data from the sensors, the number of data from the sensors is one of the issues that needs to be explored. Uh, another issue is the privacy and uh, that has some legal uh, applications in there. And of course, we will discuss all the uh, information technology issues and there might be other issues or other challenges not uh, identified yet, but that will be uh, the aim also in this ST5 to define. So the webinar today is the second one of this big data IAQ and ventilation. The first one was last week and was focused on the academic research. And today we are focusing uh, on the industry. So we will have speakers from the industrial world. And the objective will be to show us the applications really of uh, Internet of Things devices and big data in AQ and ventilation as they are currently done by some companies. And of course, these uh, speakers will uh, show us a few of the possibilities that uh, uh, IoT and big data uh, provide for the industry. And of course, that will be one of the starting stage for success for five. Um, okay, so let me introduce the speakers. Uh, the, speaker, the first speaker will be Steven Delru from Ransom in Belgium. He's the head of the uh, research and development team of data analytics, and he will present Ransom and, and the work. He's also a guest lecturer at uh, Can You Love and at Cortric, and with expertise in uh, data driven system identification and uh, advanced control in smart HVAC industry. Uh, next, it will be followed by a presentation uh, uh, by Sandra Shosho and Marcin Medzinski from NetAtmo. And Sandra Shosho is um, um, a research and development product manager for the weather and air care ranges at NetAtmo and Marcin is um, responsible for the marketing of the same care of the same ranges of systems at NetApp mode. The next speaker will be Ben Walker uh, from Retrotech, sorry, not in Canada, in the US. And it's uh, is the former technical director and now is the uh, chief executive officer of Retrotech, uh, which manufactures air tightness, air tightness testing equipment and software. Um, Okay, the last presentation will be by Inuk Borgen from Fubot in Luxembourg and uh, is the co-founder and chief technology officer of Fubot, uh, which has been building connected products and sensors since uh, 2009. So next we will have our question and answer session and the seminar will be closing at 10.30. Uh, about the practical issues, all the uh, questions, you can enter the, your questions in the Q&A box, uh, which is available. Do not use the chat box. Use the Q&A box directly and select all panelists to send the questions. And we will summarize at the end all the questions uh, and that will be uh, asked to the presenters after the uh, four presentations. Um, Okay, please note the web webinar 
as the previous ones will be recorded and published on the website in a few days, along with the slides. And after the end of the webinar, uh, you will be redirected to a survey, which we would really appreciate uh, if you could take some time to fill it. Um, okay. And I would like to thank the organizers, uh, AIVC, INIV, and the two persons that really make the seminar, the, the webinar possible, Maria Kapsalaki and Valérie Le Prince. And I will leave the floor now to our first speaker, 